hello guys in this lesson we're gonna focus on how to we establish a specific system dynamics model in the matlab simulating application okay in order to do that uh, we should use the matlab function or matlab integrated development environments or the ide or ide okay and so we have completed the two form of this representation which means that we have the transfer function and we have the state space representation related to the mass spring damper coefficients and so we need to implement the whole things by using the programming language okay and so in the matlab application we have a command window in here which we are create or write uh, some specific codes in here like this one and so c a plus b is equal to 8 and so matlab is an interpreter programming technique which means that we have the virtual machine in here and so if we use or if we write a code in here and then we can immediately run on this programming session okay <coughs> but in our session we use the simulink application we can open simulink in both ways or both two ways which means that we can write a code like this one simulink in here and push the enter button and so we can create a blank model in here or we can use this block in here in the home section okay and so in order to create an empty project in matlab simulink application we should push the blank model section in here okay and so if we push the left click in that code and so we have the such kind of screen related to the matlab simulink okay simulink is a unique way to code anything by using block diagrams in the real-time application or the iterative sections and so in the first place we should save this file by pushing the control plus s and so the where one mck is the name of this session and so this is related to the current folder of our project you can use the different path in order to save or preserve your function or your simulink blocks or simulink files okay and so if we save this simulink file and so in the current folder section we have the verb one mck.slx which is the extension of the simulink or the short of the simulink representation okay <coughs> and so in order to use the simulink block diagram we should first give the some specific settings and so if we push the right click on the mouse and so we can select the model configuration parameters okay and so the opening session is related to the solver selection and so there are two type of solver to solve the second order or the first order or the any mathematical equation and so there are two solver selection in here variable step or fixed step i'm always use the fixed step because the solver detail is much simpler and much <coughs> fix the errors in the programs and so the fundamental step size which is the sample time means that <coughs> 0 0.1 millisecond in the MATLAB time application okay and so <coughs> what about this the transfer function or the how can we establish a transfer function representation in the MATLAB simulink block diagrams and so <coughs> in order to add the some specific blocks we should click the library browser in here and so the there are many codes or library in order to use in the simulink application <coughs> and so we can choose the blocks like some blocks in here 
the searching for some blocks is running now and so the name of some is related to blocks can show or can be viewing viewed in this screen okay but we can use a different technique in order to add the sum blocks into the MATLAB simulink. Okay? This is a long process uh, because I cannot use these things and so RAM cannot easily reach that memory. And so maybe your computer much faster than these things. And so <coughs> the whole block diagrams all library is search by the name of the sum and so the list is given in here okay and so the sum is related to the blocks always is represented or showed in here okay and so the other way in order to add the sum blocks in the matlab session in here if we use the double click or double left click on the screen and so create annotation section is given in here and so if we add the constant value of these things and so if we write the const value and so the related blocks name is given in here in the IntelliSense session and so we can add the constant blocks in here easily okay this is the constant blocks and so we can rename these things like the first value in here and so if we push the double left click in here and so block parameter section is given in here in the block diagrams the constant blocks is described by using this explanation session and so in order to get more knowledge about it and so you need to read these explanations and so we can change the constant value parameter in here like this one 10 can be given in here okay and so in order to represent the whole the simulating sessions or in order to show the result of our algorithms and so we can add the scope blocks in here like this one scope can be added in here which means that if we push the left click on this scope variable and so the scopes is given in here and so the settings of scope can be displayed by using these things and so we can use this analogy in order to show the any variable on this simulating block diagram and so if we link to this constant block the output is in here input is in here relates to scope diagram and so if we link these two things and so if we rerun this program and then we need to show the 10 value of this session like this one but the 10 is given by the constant term <coughs> and so <coughs> The constant is seen like uh, this one. It's a one variable in here. Okay? And so, what about the uh, transfer function creation? Transfer function can be added by the double left click should be applied on this session or screen. And so, if we write the transfer fcn FCN can be added by using these terms okay and so in order to run or in order to use this transfer function method and so we should add these things and so if we input variable linked to the input of transfer function the output can be generated but the this generation should be viewed in the scope diagram and so if we link this transfer function to the scope variable and so if we rerun this program and then we have the such kind of variables in here okay and so if we rerun this program 
by using this block and so the, we have such kind of output in here but in order to establish our system models like this one the m s square plus c s plus k must be given by the s square plus 2 s plus 1 okay and so how can we impl implement uh, this phenomena into or by using this transfer function this name can be represent can be changed with the gs value and so we can change the parameter of the numerator coefficients and denominator coefficients can be changed by using these blocks and so how can we use it the which way is true in here and so we have the matrix notation or vector notation in here numerator means that the up down up values of this transfer function denominator means that the down value represented by these coefficients okay and so if we add the one 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 value in here and apply gives us the s square plus s plus one and so which means that the first term is related to the s is zero times one and so the second term is related to the one times s over one okay this and so the last term at the at the left hand side term means that the s square because one times s square plus one times s plus one times s over zero okay and so in order to represent our models and so the second term should be equalized by two okay and so we can change it like this one two and so the one divided by a square plus two s plus one can be obtained now <coughs> and so how can we rerun this program this is our mass spring damper system in the mathematical notation okay damping ratio and so if we rerun this program under the force of 10 newton value uh, which is the input value of this transfer function and so we can obtain the general results of the xs position and so this is the xs this is the force value or in technical terms this is the input value this is the output value okay and so if we rerun this program then the scope value is equal to what in the first place the position is a zero and then at the final position it goes to the 10 meters under this coefficients because the m c and k determine the output or the steady state value of the r position in this study or the output value okay this is the transfer function method in order to create a system modeling with respect to the time because we can add the force or transfer function related to the gs and scope value and then we can iterate the whole the results in time by using the method simulating application and so this is the first example of the transfer function session in here and so we can add uh, some specific notes in here transfer function of the mass uh, spring and damping system okay and so this can be higher than the normal things and in the next lesson uh, we will focus on how can we create or establish the state space representation by especially using the matlab function block in the matlab simulating application okay